MX Linux 25 code name Infinity is finally here, built on Debian 13 and aiming to be the most polished, stable MX release yet. In this review, we are diving deep into the XFC edition, the heart of the MX Linux, to see what's new, what's improved, and whether it's still the best lightweight distro around. This release brings major upgrades across the board, from a completely refreshed installer to rebuilt system tools, enhanced performance optimizations, and a desktop experience that's smoother than ever. Whether you're a Linux veteran looking for your next daily driver, a complete beginner exploring alternatives to Windows, or someone trying to breathe new life into older hardware, this review covers everything you need to know. Let's jump right in. If you have never tried MX before, here's the quick pitch. It's built for people who want a stable Debian base without the hassle. It gives you modern tools, an easy installer, and performance that puts big names to shame. Here's what sets MX apart from the crowd. While many distributions are adding layer upon layer of features, MX focuses on what actually matters – speed, reliability, and giving users control without overwhelming complexity. It's the difference between a finely tuned machine and one overloaded with unnecessary components. MX Linux has consistently ranked in the top 3 on DistroWatch for years, and that's not just hype, it's a testament to a distribution that actually delivers on its promises. Behind those rankings are real users who depend on MX for daily work, creative projects, and everything in between. Version 25 continues that tradition with smarter defaults, cleaner visuals, and zero compromises on performance. And here's what makes this special, MX is a community-driven project, no corporate agenda pushing you toward a specific ecosystem, no telemetry collecting your data, just passionate developers and users working together to make Linux better for everyone. The MX community provides extensive documentation, active forums, and real solutions to real problems. When you choose MX, you're not just getting a distribution, you are joining a community that actually supports its users. Now let's talk about what powers this release. The foundation has shifted to Debian 13 Trixie, which means updated libraries, fresh drivers, better hardware compatibility, and a longer support cycle. This is building your system on bedrock instead of sand. The default kernel is 6.12 LTS, that's long-term support, meaning security updates and stability passes for years to come. This gives you peace of mind for production environments, development workstations, or any scenario where reliability matters more than choosing the latest bleeding edge features. But if you are working with newer hardware, recent AMD Ryzen processors, latest Intel graphics, cutting edge Wi-Fi chipsets, or a newest NVIDIA GPU, the AHS, that is Advanced Hardware Support Edition, delivers a LiquidX 6.16 kernel. This means better hardware detection, improved performance optimizations, and support for components that might not work with standard kernels. Here's a significant change, MX now defaults to System D on most ISOs for wider compatibility with modern software ecosystems and services. This translates to better integration with flat packs and snap packages, smoother docker, and containerization support improved service management and fewer compatibility issues when installing third-party applications or enterprise software. For traditionalists and who prefer simplicity, the classic 6-minute version remains available on the download page. MX respects that users have different needs and preferences, that's the beauty of choice in Linux. And here's the game changer for 2025, Secure Boot support has finally arrived. Modern laptops and desktops ship with Secure Boot enabled by default. Previously, this meant diving into BIOS settings, disabling security features, and potentially voiding warranties. Now, not anymore. MX25 can now be installed on modern UEFI systems with Secure Boot enabled. No terminal commands, no complicated workarounds, no security compromises. This is massive for enterprise adoption, educational institutions, and dual boot setups where maintaining secure boot is essential. One of the standout updates is the completely refreshed installer. 
and this address is one of the biggest pain points in Linux installations. The installer now features or replace existing installation option or feature that might sound simple but changes everything. This means you can reinstall MX Linux from scratch, upgrade from an older version or even switch from another distribution without wiping your home folder or personal files. Your documents, photos, music collection, browser bookmark, application settings, SSS keys, everything in your home directory stays exactly where it is. No more backing up to external drives, no more hoping you remembered to save everything important. This is the kind of the thoughtful design that separates truly great distribution from merely good ones. But here's what it gets even better. The installer now supports GRAM swap or technology that compresses memory on the fly using your CPU instead relying solely on traditional disk swap. What does this mean in particular terms? Systems with limited RAM can run significantly more applications simultaneously without slowdowns. Older laptops get extended usable life, even modern systems benefit from faster memory operations and reduced disk wear. It's particularly transformative for machines with 4 GB of RAM or less. The difference between a sluggish system and one that feels responsive and modern. The installer also walks users through encryption setup with clear, plain language explanations, no cryptic jargon or confusing terminology. Security shouldn't require a computer science degree to implement. And for power users and system administrator, there's still a full manual partitioning with all the granular control expected from serious distribution, custom partition schemes, LVM setups, RAID configuration, it's all there. This makes MX25 one of the most beginner-friendly Debian-based systems available today without dumping anything down or removing options that advanced users need. Now here's where MX Linux truly signs and why it has such a devoted, loyal fan following. The beloved MX Tools suit has been completely rebuilt using Qt6 so it feels more responsive, looks more modern and maintains visual consistency across different themes. These aren't just decorative system menus, these are powerful utilities that would normally require hunting through forum posts, reading man pages and typing complex terminal commands. MX tools bring professional grade system management capabilities to users at all skill levels. Let's talk about MX Snapshot for a moment. This tool creates complete backups of your entire system, not just files, but your complete operating system including all installed applications, system configurations, and personal settings. You can restore these snapshots later if something goes wrong or even share them with colleagues and friends who want an identical setup. Imagine never having to reinstall and painstakingly reconfigure dozens of applications ever again. That's the power of convenience we are talking about here. For system administrators managing multiple machines, this is a game changer for deployment. The old APT notifier has been replaced with the new MX updater and it's a significant improvement. It's faster, clearer, provides better information about what's being updated and even supports Nala as an alternative package manager. For those unfamiliar, Nala provides the same functionality as APT but with prettier output, parallel package downloads that significantly speed up installations and much clearer error messages when something goes wrong, updates that uh, used to take minutes now complete in seconds. MX Cleanup has been enhanced with intelligent cleanup capabilities. It can now automatically identify and remove unused kernel drivers, language files for language you'll never use, and documentation packages that just consume disk space. Standard installations can free up 1 to 2 GB more without touching anything important or breaking functionality. This efficiency focus extends throughout the entire suit. MX Boot Options lets you customize your Grub Bootloader menu without editing configuration files manually. MX Tool provides the system optimizations and tweaks that would normally require knowing which configuration files to edit. MX Repo Manager adds popular repositories with literally one click. No terminal, no troubleshooting, no copy pasting commands from websites. 
there's also MX boot repair for fixing bootloader issues. MX Live USB Maker for creating portable systems and MX Package Installer which curates useful applications by category. Every tool feels purpose-built and refined through years of user feedback, not hastily added as an afterthought. Now let's talk about XFC 4.20 Texture and it's time to dispel some outdated misconceptions. If you think XFC is that old, boring, dated desktop environment, this version will completely change your perspective. This version feels smoother, snappier and more cohesive than before. The compositor has been significantly overhauled, delivering window animations that are silky smooth and visually appealing. Subtle drop shadows, elegant fade effects, and intelligent window snapping that responds instantly. This is polished refinement that rivals desktop environments with much higher resource requirements. The whisker menu has been completely refined with lightning fast application source that finds program as you type. Cleaner layout with improved icon spacing and visual hierarchy and better category organization that makes finding applications intuitive. The source functionality is instantaneous, no lag, no waiting for results to appear. The system now includes ngrampa as the archive manager replacing file roller. It's noticeably lighter on resources, handles more archive formats including obscure ones and integrates seamlessly with Thunar file manager. Speaking of Thunar, it's received substantial improvements too better thumbnail integration and caching, faster folder loading even with thousands of files, improved network browsing capabilities and custom actions that let you add right-click context menu scripts for automated tasks. It's these refinements that transform daily workflow from functional to generally pleasant. The updated panel system is dramatically more flexible for multiple monitor configurations. Different panels can be configured for each display without glitches or quicks. Whether you need a full panel on your primary monitor and a minimal taskbar on secondary displays or completely different layouts per screen, it all works seamlessly. Everything about MX Linux 25 XFC experience feels deliberate and carefully considered. Lightweight without appearing dated or compromising on modern aesthetics. Improved font rendering with better sub-pixel hinting delivers crisper, more readable text. The Papyrus icon theme integration provides consistent modern icons throughout the system. Smoother window animations are polished without consuming precious system resources. Here's the remarkable achievement, while GNOME requires 1.5 to 2 GB of RAM just to feel smooth and responsive, and KD Plasma wants 1 to 1.5 GB for all its feature and visual effects, XFC on MX Linux delivers a premium polished desktop experience on the 700 MB of memory. That's not a compromise, that's exceptional engineering and optimization. You are not sacrificing features or functionality for that efficiency either. Multiple workspaces, customizable keyboard shortcuts, extensive theming options, panel applets for system monitoring, workspace switchers, notification systems, everything you'd expect from a modern desktop is present and responsive. MX25 introduces beautifully updated themes MX Ease and MX Matcha, giving you a modern, flat aesthetic right out of the box. These aren't just superficially reskinned GTK themes, they are actually crafted with consistent color palettes, proper contrast ratios for readability, and meticulous attention to detail across every interface element. The soft, carefully balanced color palette combined with subtle shadow creates a desktop that feels generally cohesive, like everything was designed by the same team with a unified vision not cobbled together from disparate projects. The dark mode is actually comfortable for extended use without eye strain, and the light mode maintains readability without being blindingly white. Now let's talk numbers because performance is where MX XFC absolutely dominates the competition and proves that efficiency matters. On idle, the system uses under 700 MB of RAM, 
typically between 600 to 650 on standard installation. To put this in perspective, Ubuntu with GNOME uses approximately 1.4 GB doing absolutely nothing. KDE Plasma sits around 1 GB and Windows 11 consumes roughly 2.5 to 3 GB at idle. This means dramatically more memory available on actual applications and productive work not desktop decorations or background processes. On a system with 4 GB of RAM, the difference between 650 MB and 2.5 GB of base usage is the difference between barely usable and generally productive. Boot times are exceptional, 8 to 10 seconds from grub bootloader to fully functional desktop on standard SATA SSDs. On NVMe drives, expects of 5 seconds boots. For context, Windows 11 typically takes 15 to 20 seconds just to show you a log screen on equivalent hardware. And that GRAM swap technology mentioned earlier, it generally transforms older hardware from 2012 to 15, with just 4 GB of RAM can handle modern workloads, multiple browser tabs, office applications, media playback that would bring traditional swap based systems to their knees. It's the difference between a functional machine and one that feels surprisingly modern and responsive. Whether you're resurrecting an old machine that was headed for recycling, maximizing performance on a new laptop or building an efficient server system, MX25 delivers performance that punches far above its resource footprint. This is optimization done right. So is MX Linux 25 worth the upgrade? Absolutely, and it's worth considering even if you have never used MX before. This is a smart, thoughtful evolution of an already excellent distribution, faster, cleaner, more user-friendly, and more capable than ever. This isn't just another Linux distribution changing trends or copying features from competitors. MX Linux 25 represents what happens when developers generally listen to user feedback, focus relentlessly on real-world usability, and refuse to compromise performance on stability. Whether you are migrating from Windows and overwhelmed by Linux choices, whether you need a lean, efficient server base that won't consume resources, whether you are building a development workstation that needs to be rock-solid reliable, or whether you are simply looking for a distribution that respects both your hardware and your intelligence, MX25 handles all of these scenarios with remarkable grace and capability. And if this review provided value, hit that like button to help others discover MX Linux. Subscribe for more in-depth Linux content, distribution reviews and tutorials. And drop a comment sharing your experiences with MX Linux or suggesting what distribution to cover next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.